Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can review the solar intensity and solar charging you've been getting on your Garmin Fenix 7 series watch. Now I'm using the 7X Solar Sapphire. Shouldn't matter which version of the Garmin Fenix 7 you've got as long as it's one of the solar charging models. The other thing I'll say is if you've watched my videos in the past from my Garmin Instinct, it's pretty similar to the Garmin Instinct Solar in terms of what we're going to be looking at here. So the easiest way you can do this is you can set the watch face to show the solar charging as one of the data elements. Not every watch face will have this available, but several of them do. And then you can always go out to the Connect IQ store and download additional watch faces. So we're going to do that by pressing and holding the middle button on the left hand side. And then we're going to press the upper right button to select watch face. And we're going to look for a watch face that has it. I think the next one, eh, let's go through. This is a good one. I'm going to press the upper right button to select this one. And then I'm going to go down using the bottom left button. I'm going to choose data. Again, I'm going to press the upper right button. The top right button will always be your select. I'm going to leave this data element. I'm going to leave my battery life and days. My altimeter is fine. It's this bottom one that I'm wanting to change. It's currently set to my barometric pressure, but if we go down and we look through, we can also see our solar charging. So I'm going to go ahead and press the upper right button and we'll apply that. That's the first way we can see it. Throughout the day, you'll be able to see what kind of solar charging you're getting on your watch. This value will reset every night at midnight, and then the next day you'll start with a flat line and you can see how your charging goes for the next day. That's one way you can do it. The other way you can do it is you can go look at the solar charging glance. By default, it should be installed. We can press the upper right button, I mean, I'm sorry, the left up or down button to go to our glances. For me, it's my second glance, it's solar intensity. Now, if you don't see it, just go to the very bottom and choose edit and you can add it from an available list of glances. Again, it's delivered on your watch if you've got one of the solar models. So let's go back up to it. You're gonna see it kind of looks like the same thing we just put on our watch face. It's basically a line showing you your solar intensity throughout the day. If you press the upper right button to select it, we can look at some additional values. So you can see how many lux hours you're getting over the last six hours. Now, if you press the upper right button, you'll see there's a little exclamation point here. Basically says the lux hours are the accumulation of solar intensity throughout your day. You simply press back. So you've got this view, and then you can press the up or down button to view an additional view, and all that is is your solar charging over the last seven day period. If you're used to looking at your step counter or your floors climb counter, it's basically the same kind of view with those. You're always gonna get that seven day view. Once you're done, you can simply press the bottom right button to go back to your main watch face. As always, you can also go out to your Garmin Connect app and you can look at the solar intensity through the Garmin Connect app as well. Anyway, that's a quick look at looking at solar intensity on our Garmin Phoenix Solar 7 watch. I hope the video helps.